in this session we will determine the electric field intensity due to a surface charge and distribution in case of surface charge distribution the charges are distributed over a surface in this problem a circular disk of radius a is charged uniformly with a charge density of rho s coulombs per meter square so now we have to find out the electric field density at a point which is h meter from the disk along the axis of the disk so the problem is something like this you have the circular disk which is uh, in the z is equal to 0 plane so there is the circular disk and the radius of the disk is r1 <coughs> so this disk is charged uniformly so this is surface charge distribution now our problem is to determine the electric field at a point which is uh, on the axis of the disk that is z axis and which is at a distance h from the center of the disk so this is our problem so we have this charge distribution over a surface which is a circular disk of radius r1 and we want to determine the electric field at a point p which is at a distance h from the center so let us consider the problem geometry again so we have the red axis the x axis so we have the circular disk as shown in this figure so this disk is charged uniformly with a surface charge density of rho s coulombs per meter square now this is the point P at which we have to find out the field to determine the electric field now we can consider a differential surface element as shown in this figure so here ds is given by rho d rho and d phi and the charge in this differential surface element is given by rho s ds now the electric field <coughs> at this point p due to the surface charge element is given by de is equal to dq divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r minus r dash q and r minus r dash so here the test point R is given by HZ and the source point R dash is given by so this point is at a distance 
row from the z-axis. So this is given by row here. So therefore, the vector r minus r dash is given by h z minus rho e rho and the magnitude is given by square root of h square plus rho square. So by substituting this in the expression for d We will get rho s ds and r minus r dash is given by hz minus rho a rho and this is h square plus rho square for 3 by 2. Since ds is given by rho d rho d5 Now, if you observe that the electric field at this point P due to this differential charge TQ, it has two components, one along Z, comp Z direction and other along row direction. So again, because of the symmetric consideration, that is, we have a a differential charge element which is uh, as shown here. This is going to produce an electric field here, which will have again Z and row components. So you can see that the horizontal component that is row components in the net electric field are cancelled and uh, the net electric field will have only the z component. So therefore to obtain the electric field due to the entire surface of distribution we need to integrate the electric field over the entire surface. So that is rho is equal to 0 to R1 and phi is from 0 to 2 pi and this field has only z component. So we will consider only the z component. And by integrating this, we will be getting the expression rho s h divided by 2 epsilon naught into 1 by h minus 1 by square root of h square plus r1 square. And this field is in 
production. So this is the electric field. The point P due to the entire surface charge distribution. Now we will determine the electric field at this point P due to infinite surface charge distribution. So when you say infinite surface charge distribution, the charge distribution extends to infinity. That is here R1 tends to infinity here. So to determine the electric field due to this infinite surface charge distribution, we can make use of the expression we derived earlier due to a surface charge distribution over a circular disk. So in the above expression, as R1 tends to infinity, the electric field is given by rho s divided by 2 epsilon naught. So you can observe that here the electric field is not dependent upon this distance h. So E is independent of h. It is dependent only on the surface charge density and the permittivity of the medium. 